And I know they really wish we would fall Till we fall on the big bad wolf is a full moon Yo, what's going on guys? Optic Fringe here back with another video for you guys. In this video, guys, we are going to be listing the top 5 remastered Call of Duty World of War custom zombies maps. And before this video does start, guys, I just wanted to tell you guys that this video may not be the best video I've ever made because I, when I was making it, I was trying to go really, really quickly because as I told you guys, I would be gone this month. I told you guys that on Twitter, follow me because I update you guys on everything on Twitter. So yeah, guys, other than that, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Taking the number 5 spot on this list, guys, is Transit, also known as Bus Depot. The reason why it's number 5 is because it's more confusing than the original Transit itself. There's more places that you have to go into, and there's no bus, so there's no one route that the bus will take you, and you have to walk around by yourself to the different buildings like Town, and diner and the farm and it just makes it more confusing unless you're one of those players that you know you know your way around transit taking the number four spot on this list guys is kino the rebirth also known as kino der toten when you mention that name guys kino the rebirth you probably if you ever played this map before you probably thinking panzer because the panzer on this map is unbeatable i hit this panzer with five thunder gun shots and this panzer still did not go down instead he pulled me and destroyed me but the thing about this map that really got me interested was the advanced warfare feel from the gun printers to the melee punches it just made the map more interesting and exciting to play and number three, guys, we got Nocturne Totem Remastered. This map is actually a very fun and exciting map to play. Not just because it's got an Easter egg, a mini Easter egg to unlock Pack a Punch, but also because it's got a lot of cool one weapons from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, like the Rega Mark 2, Mark 1, and the Thunder Gun. Three of my favorite wonder weapons of all time, and I bet a lot of people like these wonder weapons as well. Plus, Nocturne Totem is one of my most favorite maps of all time. Alright guys, at the number 2 spot we got Town. Now this map is amazing. This map is very fun. Not only because of the Easter egg that it has, which is the Mob of the Dead Easter egg. If you watch any of my live streams, you would know what this Easter egg is. And it's actually one of the best mini Easter eggs in all of Call of Duty, I I'd say. And I don't know how the creator of this map did it, but the map looks exactly like the original Town map itself. And all I can tell you guys is try this map because this map is one of the best maps I've ever played in World of War Zombies. Alright guys and finally we have the number one map on this list which is Nuketown 1986 and this map is one of those maps that you can't really tell what makes it so good. It's it's just fun overall plus it's got a really hard easter egg which I like Easter eggs and I'm pretty sure a lot of people like Easter eggs and it's it's just fun to play overall. Peace.